What's up family? In today's video, I wanted to express my thoughts on the topic of spirituality and money. That is something that is not usually in the same conversation um, when you are asking your spiritual gurus, when you're asking your woke friends, when you are asking, you know, um, the people who are diving deeper into their spiritual self. But it's a conversation that needs to happen. It's an understanding that needs to take place in order for you to really thrive in this matrix, in this physical realm that you are in. Now, many of us have money wounds, okay? Money wounds are stemming from generations and generations of these false beliefs about money. Now, they might have been and most likely were unintentional when it came to your ancestors, your living or your past recent ancestors. Okay, but that was done by design in the greater scheme of things. Okay, because when you start to lose your understanding of what money actually is, then you start losing your ability to live in an abundant mindset, in an abundant energy. And that's all that money is. It is simply your state of mind, your state of being. Your money will reflect your state of being here in this physical realm. Now, we have to understand that, yes, we are spiritual beings, but we just as much as we are spiritual beings, we are just as much physical beings. And one does not rule over the other. There is no hierarchy okay, in the realm of consciousness, in the realm of spirituality, in the realm of spirit. There are not hierarchies where this is more important than the other. This is on top of the other. That is a, a construct that we created here in this physical realm. But just because you are spiritual does not mean you don't need to focus about money. If anything, you must focus on money. If the more spiritual you get, the more knowledgeable you have to become about money and about financial health. Okay. And about financial wealth. Because as you become more spiritual, you become more, quote unquote, woke, the more information, the more knowledge, the more wisdom you have to offer to this planet, the more impact you could potentially make, potentially make on this planet. Now, depending on where your physical side of life is, AKA your, your financial health, where that is, that will determine the level of impact that you make. Okay. It's not all about being woke. It's not all about knowing everything in existence. It's not about knowing all the chakras and knowing all the, um, <laughs> you know, the metaphysical side of life, the occult side of life and etc. You have to be able to master both. And that's how you become the full master of your reality here. Okay. Without that understanding and understanding and overstanding of money and how it operates in this physical realm and, and how you're able to maneuver it and park it and utilize it, it will determine the impact that you make on this physical realm. Okay. If the money, if the, the cash, the dollars are for the physical side, okay, and the knowledge and the wisdom is for the energetic and the spiritual side, once you put both of those together, your impact will amplify on this physical realm, okay? I want you guys, um, especially my community, Life the Plant Way, um, and just the spiritual community in general, I want you guys to start understanding the importance of money in this physical realm. Okay. It is simply a tool. It is, um, energy. Okay. That will go and flow wherever it is invited. But we have many subconscious beliefs that leave money at the door that close the door on money. 
We say things like money don't grow on trees when it in fact does, quite literally and figuratively. We say things like money is the root of all evil when that is far from the truth. Your mindset is the root of all evil or the root of all healing. You see what I'm saying? So the money will amplify whatever that mindset is. If someone is in a destructive state of mind and you give them money, they're going to further their impact with more destruction. If you give someone in a state of love more money, they will further grow their impact with the love that they are already spreading. You see what I'm saying, family? So it is very important to one remove these money wounds that we have these crazy thoughts that we have about money okay money doesn't grow on trees money is the root of all evil money is slavery money is is you know whatever negative thing that you've heard from your parents or your grandparents that probably grew up impoverished whatever you heard from them about money you're going to need to Leave it out your life. You're going to need to, to, you know, audit your brain, okay? Audit your mind. And these subconscious beliefs, you have to uproot them and get them out. Because those are closing the doors for this energy to flow in. Okay? It's not necessarily having to focus on money. That You don't have to just focus on money. You think, eat, breathe, shit money. Okay? It is the abundance. It is the, the, the feeling of being deserving. The feeling of being abundant. That is what calls the money in. Okay, and that is how you make it in a sustainable way to where you're not burning yourself out. You're not cheating other people for it. You're not stepping on toes and stepping on heads for it. Once you start to have that feeling, that knowing that you are deserving of all the abundance coming your way, then money will come your way. Okay, but you must have all three eyes open to seeing the opportunities of how that money comes in. Okay, it's not necessarily I'm just going to pray and sit on it and, and I'm going to say I have money, I have money and it's boom, my bank account just hit a million dollars. No. When you start sitting and you're praying and you're meditating on it and, and you're feeling this abundance and you're feeling all this, all this energy of abundance and, and gratitude for it, now the opportunities, the people, the ideas pop in your head. Okay? Those start coming into your life and this is where your physical must meet that spiritual. You do the spiritual work, you do the inner work, you do the, the, like I said, the gratitude and the feeling of abundance and the speaking, the affirming, the visualizing, the meditating. That is the spiritual side of life. That is the metaphysical side of life that is needed. But that other side of life is just as important and that's you walking the walk. That's you now acting on these opportunities that came in your way ever since you did that metaphysical part. Now is the physical time. Now it's partnering with those people that came into your life. Now it's writing down and pursuing those ideas that popped up into your mind. Okay, both need to happen. And some people, especially in the spiritual community, they only do the metaphysical part, forget the physical part and think, ah, it's all just BS. I visualized it, I meditated on it, I dreamed about it, I wrote it down all the time. But it's not here. Even though all the signs and all the people and all the opportunities are just showing up in their life and they're passing them left and right and their physical aspect, their physical side is not energized enough in order to pursue those goals through the end, through the end. Not just to start, but through the end, through the ups and the downs. Okay? Because once you maintain that metaphysical, all you have to do in the physical is just walk. And it's like what Martin Luther King said. Sorry if I butcher the quote. But you don't have to see all the steps in order to take the next one. Okay? You have to have that metaphysical side, that faith, that trust, that knowing 
okay, that when you are doing the physical and you are walking that walk, that when you take that step, even though you don't see the next one, when you start taking that other step, something's going to come up and catch you. That's where you need to be. Okay, mentally, that's where you need to be. You have to have that faith, that knowing that as you're taking the walk, even though you don't see anything, something is always there to catch you. Okay, because many people become fearful, don't see the next step, and they think they're just going to fall or fail, even though that's not real. Those are just lessons to learn so you don't repeat that mishap, repeat that misstep. And it directs you to a new direction. Many people get frozen just off of that fear alone. Many people get frozen off of the, the fear that, they, that someone projected onto them. Their parents, their friends, the internet. Many people don't even have that, that ability to take the next step because of the fear. It freezes them. Okay? So, or the, the, you know, the self-limiting belief. Oh, because I'm woke, I can't get money. Oh, because I'm going to, you know, my plans are to change the world this way. The government won't let me. Oh, man, the man won't let me. Oh, they're going to shut me down. They're, they're going to kill me, assassinate me, all these different types of things. Completely freezes them <laughs> to where you land right in their lap. That's exactly where they want you. The man, that's exactly where they want you. Not taking those steps. People think that, you know, the man is going to get them when they start doing things. No, the man already got you if you're not doing anything. So don't be fearful. Once you start fearing, you start closing off that money of abundance and you start freezing yourself and limiting yourself on where you can actually go. Okay, so this was a quick video. Maybe not so quick. It's already about 12 minutes. But I wanted really to, to just explain to you guys that money is not something to fear. Money is simply energy. And if you are deserving of it, you are right. If you are not deserving of it, you are right. Whatever you feel, whatever you say, whatever you put out there, whatever you believe subconsciously, you are right. So if you need to do some adjusting, if you need to do, if you watch this video and you're like, Shh, this guy is right. You know, deep, deep, deep down, I remember my mom telling me, for example, I remember my mom telling me about um, friendships, for example. Friends are like a dollar in your pocket. They're always going to leave you. What did that do to me? Subconsciously blocked me from building true, meaningful relationships with people. All because of that one quote that she used to repeat when I was a child. Okay, so think of, make an audit in your life, make an audit in your mind. What are these subconscious beliefs that you probably don't even believe in now, but are still replaying in your head that you haven't consciously uprooted? Okay, if you're not consciously uprooting it, if you're not consciously removing it, it is subconsciously poisoning you. Okay, family, so I want you to Take an audit of your mind. Take an audit of your surroundings, of who you're hanging with, what information is being put into your eyes and your ears. And are they, are they limiting you from having this abundant mindset and having this belief that money is for you? Money is already yours. Money is infinite. There isn't a limited supply of money. It doesn't exist. Money is infinite. Okay, and the elites, whatever you want to call them, the higher ups, the, 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 the corporations, the rich people, they know this. They know this, even if their intentions aren't the greatest. They know this. They know that money is abundant. That's why they're able to have 20 bags of chips in the same aisle. Nobody competes with each other. Nobody tries to kill each other. Nobody tries to step on each other's toes. They know that they can coexist. They know that money is abundant. It is there for all of us. But in this spiritual community, we've been told and sold that money is some limited asset that only the 1% can have. Or that you have to step on somebody's toes in order for you to have it. It's just not true, family. It is just not true. Okay, so... Take this video as a reminder 
to get your shit together in the physical realm. Instead of reading about aliens and this, that, and the third that you already know about that just giving you that mental stimulation, learn how to open up a, a proper bank account, learn how to open up a proper business, learn how to work for yourself, learn how to have a side hustle, learn how to, how to increase your wealth, learn how to make sure that your generations are taken care of down the line. There's no point of being woke if you're still gonna be broke. There's no point. Okay, family, so quick live or quick, you know, quick video I wanted to drop today. You know, I hope you guys enjoy this topic. I'm definitely going to be going in on this topic a lot more. But something that I just wanted to get off the head real quick. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a like. Give us a subscribe. Make sure you hit that little bell notification so that you get notified when we are dropping videos. We are going to be dropping a lot more videos on YouTube. My name is Joseph Octaviani, and I appreciate you for tuning in, family. Stay blessed.